In the heart of Saudi Arabia, a land steeped in religious history and cultural wealth, a startling discovery has emerged, challenging long-held beliefs. Uncovered by a group of atheists, this find not only raises questions about the region's past, but also its connection to major world religions. What secrets does this discovery hold? How will it reshape our understanding of history? Join us as we uncover the mysteries and implications of this groundbreaking revelation. Saudi Arabia, a nation deeply rooted in religious and historical significance, is a central figure in the narrative of major world religions. Known primarily as the birthplace of Islam, it is home to the sacred cities of Mecca and Medina, drawing millions of Muslims annually for pilgrimage. Beyond its religious prominence, Saudi Arabia's rich history is woven into the tapestry of ancient trade routes, cultural exchanges, and evolving civilizations. This region's historical narrative has been predominantly aligned with Islamic traditions, landmarks, and cultural heritage deeply intertwined with the faith. And recently, it has come back in the spotlight as scientists panic over a shocking discovery made by atheists there. The finding, unexpected and startling, hints at a connection between Saudi Arabia and Christianity, a link previously unexplored in such depth. This revelation challenges the traditional understanding of the region's religious history and its role in the broader context of world religions. But why is this discovery causing such a stir among scientists and historians? What makes this new finding so significant that it has led to widespread panic and re-evaluation of historical facts? The answer lies in the potential reshaping of our understanding of religious history, particularly the origins and spread of major faiths. This discovery in Saudi Arabia, far from the familiar narratives of Islamic history, suggests an ancient link with Christianity, a religion that, until now, had little historical connection to this region. This link provides a fresh perspective on the religious and cultural dynamics of the ancient Middle East. It also raises questions about the historical interactions between different faith communities and the potential presence of Christian influences in a region predominantly known for its Islamic heritage. The global impact of this discovery cannot be overstated. It challenges long-standing beliefs and compels historians, archaeologists, and theologians to revisit and rewrite parts of religious history. The implications extend beyond academia, potentially influencing interfaith dialogues and understanding. This discovery in Saudi Arabia, brought to light by an unlikely source, sets the stage for re-examining historical narratives and religious connections. It opens up a new chapter in understanding the Middle East's diverse and rich heritage, inviting us to view the past through a different lens. How will this reshape our perception of religious history? Mount Sinai holds a position of unparalleled religious importance in the realms of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. For Jews, this mountain is revered as the site where God delivered the Ten Commandments to Moses, marking a foundational moment in their religious history. This event is celebrated during the Jewish festival of Shavuot, commemorating the revelation at Sinai. It represents not just the receiving of the law, but also the formation of a covenant between God and the people of Israel. In Christianity, Mount Sinai is viewed through the lens of the Old Testament, holding a significant place in the narrative of Moses, a figure who foreshadows Jesus Christ. The mountain symbolizes a place of divine revelation and a test of faith, themes that resonate deeply in Christian theology. For Muslims, Mount Sinai, known as Yabal Musa, is where the prophet Musa, Moses, received divine revelations, reinforcing its sacred status across these Abrahamic faiths. The Quran references the story of Moses and the mountain, emphasizing themes of guidance, patience, and the mercy of God. This shared reverence for Mount Sinai across these religions highlights its profound impact on humanity's religious and cultural history. 
The recent discovery that has caused a stir among scientists and historians relates directly to Mount Sinai. Researchers have uncovered evidence suggesting that this historically and religiously significant site might be located in Saudi Arabia, not in the traditionally believed Sinai Peninsula of Egypt. This revelation disrupts centuries of religious and historical understanding, presenting a potential new chapter in the history of these major world religions. But why is this discovery causing such alarm and debate among scientists? The answer lies in the profound impact this new finding could have on our understanding of religious history. The traditional location of Mount Sinai on the Sinai Peninsula has been a point of historical consensus and religious pilgrimage for centuries. However, the new evidence points to a location within Saudi Arabia, significantly altering the geographical context of biblical events. This revelation has reignited historical debates about the true location of Mount Sinai. Historically, the belief that Mount Sinai was in Egypt's Sinai Peninsula was widely accepted, but it was not without its challenges. Various theories have been proposed over the years, suggesting alternative locations within the Middle East. This latest discovery adds a new dimension to these debates, proposing a location that challenges traditional beliefs and invites the re-examination of historical and religious narratives. The implications of Mount Sinai potentially being in Saudi Arabia are immense. It raises questions about historical accuracies in religious texts and the geographical understanding of key biblical events. This discovery invites scholars and theologians to revisit and potentially rethink the historical narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. As we delve deeper into the Mount Sinai discovery, we are left to ponder how this revelation might reshape our understanding of the past. Mount Sinai is a significant symbol in the religious narratives of Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. Its historical and spiritual importance varies across these faiths, yet it holds a central place in the sacred traditions of each. Mount Sinai is the hallowed site in Judaism, where God delivered the Ten Commandments to Moses. This event is not just a historical moment, but a spiritual cornerstone, signifying the formation of a covenant between God and the Israelites. The Ten Commandments are fundamental to Jewish ethical and religious life, serving as the core principles guiding the moral conduct and religious practices of Jews. Mount Sinai, therefore, is more than a geographical location. It represents the moment of divine revelation, and the establishment of a unique relationship between God and His chosen people. This covenant and the laws given at Mount Sinai form the bedrock of Jewish identity and faith. Christianity also holds Mount Sinai in high regard, primarily within the context of the Old Testament, which is shared with Judaism. The events at Mount Sinai, such as the giving of the Ten Commandments, are seen as crucial in Christian theology. This moment is perceived as a pivotal interaction between God and humanity, setting a precedent for the later Christian belief in God's continuous engagement with humankind. Additionally, Mount Sinai serves as a precursor to the events in the New Testament and the teachings of Jesus Christ. In Christian art and literature, Mount Sinai is often depicted as a symbol of God's law and justice, as well as His mercy and covenant with His people. Moses, the central figure at Mount Sinai, is considered a prophet in Christianity and is often seen as a forerunner to Christ. He is respected for his role in leading the Israelites and as a lawgiver, paralleling Jesus' role in establishing a new covenant. For instance, just as Moses led the Israelites out of physical bondage in Egypt, Jesus is viewed as the Savior who liberated humanity from the bondage of sin. Thus, Mount Sinai symbolizes a historical and spiritual journey, reflecting the transition from the Old Covenant to the New Covenant brought by Jesus, and is revered as a significant milestone in the narrative of salvation history. In Islam, Mount Sinai, known as Yabal Musa, is revered as the place where Prophet Musa, Moses, received divine revelations from Allah. 
Moses is a pivotal figure in Islamic history and is regarded as one of the most important prophets. The events that unfolded at Mount Sinai are significant in Islamic tradition, reinforcing the reverence for Moses as a great messenger of God. While not mentioning Mount Sinai by name, the Quran alludes to the events and the importance of Moses' prophetic mission. For Muslims, Mount Sinai symbolizes a place of divine communication and profound historical events. The discovery linking Mount Sinai to Saudi Arabia raises a fundamental question. How does this impact the narrative of these three major religions? The precise location of Mount Sinai, a site of monumental importance to several world religions, has been a subject of debate and speculation for centuries. While traditionally, Mount Sinai is believed to be located in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt, this has not stopped scholars and historians from proposing alternative locations based on various interpretations of religious texts, historical records, and archaeological evidence. Over the years, numerous theories have surfaced regarding the true location of Mount Sinai. Some scholars have suggested locations within Egypt, while others have looked towards different parts of the Middle East. The debate over Mount Sinai's location is not just a modern phenomenon. It has been a subject of contention among historians and theologians for centuries. Each proposed location comes with its own set of supporting evidence and arguments, ranging from geographical clues found in ancient texts to archaeological findings. Among the numerous theories, the propositions made by Charles T. Becky and Ron Wyatt stand out for their controversial nature and the debates they sparked. In the 19th century, Charles T. Becky, a British traveler and Bible scholar, put forward a revolutionary theory. He proposed that Mount Sinai might have been a volcano. This theory was based on his interpretation of biblical descriptions, which mentioned the mountain emitting smoke and fire. Beke initially thought that the biblical Mount Sinai was Jabal al naur near the head of the Gulf of Aqaba. However, upon visiting the site and realizing it wasn't a volcano, he revised his theory, suggesting that the biblical descriptions might have been metaphorical, representing a storm in the area rather than a volcanic eruption. Ron Wyatt, an American researcher, later reignited the controversy with his claim that Mount Sinai was located in Saudi Arabia. Wyatt, who lacked formal archaeological training, based his theory on his interpretation of the Bible, particularly focusing on the Book of Exodus. He pinpointed Jebel al-Laws in northwest Saudi Arabia as the real Mount Sinai. His claim was supported by what he believed to be archaeological evidence, a large campsite near the mountain, carvings of bulls and cows, and structures he interpreted as the remains of the golden calf altar. Wyatt's theories have been met with skepticism by the scholarly community, largely due to his unconventional methods and lack of peer-reviewed publications. But why are these theories causing such a stir, leading to scientists panicking over the new discovery in Saudi Arabia by atheists? The reason lies in these theories' profound implications on our understanding of religious history and scriptures. If Mount Sinai's location is indeed different from what has been traditionally believed, it could necessitate a re-evaluation of significant portions of religious and historical narratives. Saudi Arabia, a land often associated with arid deserts and rich oil reserves, is also a treasure trove of historical and geological findings that paint a picture of a past markedly different from its present. Recent discoveries have shed light on the ancient civilizations that once thrived here and the dramatic environmental changes the region has undergone. In recent years, archaeologists in Saudi Arabia have unearthed human remains that date back thousands of years. These findings provide invaluable insights into the lives, cultures, and migrations of ancient human populations in the region. For instance, the discovery of a 7,000-year-old burial site reveals the presence of a sophisticated society that engaged in ritualistic practices and had established burial customs. Among the most intriguing discoveries are the Mustatils, 
large rectangular stone structures scattered across northwest Saudi Arabia. These structures, estimated to be over 7,000 years old, are believed to have been used for rituals or social gatherings by the prehistoric inhabitants of the region. However, the purpose and significance of these mustatils remain a subject of speculation and research. Contrasting sharply with the current desert climate, geological evidence suggests that Saudi Arabia was once a lush, green land. Fossils of animals like elephants, hippos, and even seahorses indicate a rich and diverse ecosystem, hinting at a landscape that was vastly different from the arid terrain we see today. These findings are supported by satellite imagery and fossil records, revealing a past where the region enjoyed a wetter, more temperate climate. But why are scientists panicking over these new discoveries in Saudi Arabia by atheists? The answer lies in these findings' profound implications for our understanding of the region's history. These discoveries challenge long-held beliefs about the environmental and cultural history of Saudi Arabia. They suggest that the region was once a cradle of human civilization, rich in biodiversity and natural resources. The interpretation of these findings also provides a window into understanding how ancient societies adapted to their environment. The shift from a lush landscape to a desert terrain raises questions about climate change and its impact on human civilizations. Furthermore, these discoveries add a new dimension to the historical narrative of Saudi Arabia, revealing a complex and dynamic past that extends far beyond its current identity as an oil-rich nation and a center of Islamic culture. The discovery suggesting that Mount Sinai might be located in Saudi Arabia has garnered significant attention, with various pieces of archaeological evidence fueling the debate. However, this claim has also faced its fair share of skepticism and criticisms from scholars and experts in the field. Let's break down the evidence and examine the criticists to understand why this discovery is causing such a steer among scientists. The claim that Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia is primarily based on findings near Jabal al Laws, a mountain in the northwest of the country. Proponents of this theory, like Ron Wyatt, have pointed to several pieces of evidence supporting this claim. This includes a large open area near the mountain that could have accommodated the Israelites and unique rock formations that some interpret as being consistent with biblical descriptions. Near Jabal al Laws, explorers have found artifacts and carvings that they believe correlate with the Israelites' stay at Mount Sinai. These include images of cows and bulls, which some theorize could be linked to the biblical story of the golden calf. Advocates for the Saudi Arabian location of Mount Sinai argue that the mountain's topography and geological features closely match the descriptions found in religious texts. They point to a particular mountain peak that appears burnt, suggesting this could be evidence of the biblical account of Mount Sinai being covered in smoke and fire. However, this theory has been criticized significantly by the academic community. Many scholars argue that the evidence presented is not conclusive or persuasive enough to support the claim. Critics point out that the artifacts and carvings found near Jebel al Laws are not unique to the area and can be found in various locations across the Middle East. Experts have raised concerns about the methodologies used by the Saudi Arabian Mount Sinai proponents. Critics argue that these methods lack the rigor and systematic approach typically associated with archaeological research. Some scholars highlight discrepancies between the archaeological findings and historical and textual records. They argue that the evidence does not align with religious texts' historical timelines or geographical descriptions. Additionally, other proposed locations for Mount Sinai, particularly in the Sinai Peninsula of Egypt, have a long-standing tradition and a body of supporting evidence that cannot be easily dismissed. But why are scientists panicking over this new discovery in Saudi Arabia by atheists? It's because the claim, if proven true, could significantly alter our understanding of religious history and the geographical context of biblical events. 
The recent discovery in Saudi Arabia, suggesting a new location for Mount Sinai, has far-reaching implications that extend well beyond archaeology and into religious belief and historical understanding. This revelation, if substantiated, could fundamentally alter our perception of religious history and the narratives that have been passed down through generations. The claim that Mount Sinai is in Saudi Arabia challenges traditional beliefs held by Judaism, Christianity, and Islam. For centuries, these religions have shared a common understanding of Mount Sinai's location in the Sinai Peninsula. A shift in this belief could prompt re-evaluating certain biblical and Quranic stories, potentially leading to new interpretations of sacred texts. This discovery could also influence interfaith dialogues. Recognizing shared histories and geographical connections between these faiths might foster a deeper understanding and respect among different religious communities. It could highlight the interconnectedness of these religions, which have historically been seen in isolation from each other. The geographical location of sacred sites holds immense importance in religious practices, including pilgrimage. A change in the perceived location of Mount Sinai could influence pilgrimage rituals and the spiritual significance attributed to these places. The potential relocation of Mount Sinai to Saudi Arabia necessitates a re-examination of historical timelines and events. It could prompt historians and scholars to revisit and rewrite parts of ancient history, particularly those relating to the Exodus and other biblical events. Such a discovery might also impact cultural identities and national histories. For Saudi Arabia, it could reshape its role and significance in the historical and religious landscape of the Middle East. The panic arises from the realization that this discovery, if validated, can challenge long-established beliefs and narratives. It could transform our understanding of the past affecting not only religious doctrines, but also nations and communities, cultural and historical identities. Thanks for exploring with us on The True Historian. If you enjoyed these revelations, click now on the next video that pops up on your screen. It's unbelievable.